it'll work still work with <laughs> oh yeah still work with a little bit different run <laughs> Today I thought we'd do something a little interesting in this video and compare two lures I just recently started using this year, the Whopper Plopper and its competitor, the Yoziri 3D Bead Prop. We're going to cover the pros and cons when related to river fishing. The Whopper Plopper is made by River to Sea and was designed by the great Larry Dahlberg. Compared to the Yoziri, the hooks are in the Whopper Plopper seem to be a little bit oversized. It has a single prop that is much louder overall than the Yoziri. There is also an internal rattle system, but it seems to be secondary to the prop, and to be honest, I can barely hear it. I'm using the 90 model, which is 3.5 inches and a half ounce. While similar in nature, the Yoziri 3DB prop took a different design route than the Whopper Plopper. The hooks are about a size or two smaller, as well as being a standard treble versus the Whopper Plopper's wider gap. It features a smaller double prop, which creates more of a whine than the loud plop plop of the Whopper Plopper. There's also a very loud internal rattle system. It comes in only one size, which is the 3.5 inch 716 sounds model. Got this little. Oh man, don't pull me into that. This little guy in a whopper plopper. Ooh, he's actually pretty good. Well, not even up. Just let it sit, and he came right up and grabbed it. I'm trying this lure out, I'm not very good with it, so. I'm not going to give any tips or advice, but uh, works pretty good. If you can get it to work right, bud. Do, do, do. I mean, by all right, I probably shouldn't be giving tips anyways. <laughs> I'm just making videos about fishing. Tell you what, man, these Michigan rivers are so pretty. And not all of them. I mean, you got the Rouge, and that kind of sucks, but <laughs> you come out to the west side, especially, man, access you have to some of these rivers. And just, I mean, other than salmon season, you pretty much have the damn place to yourself 90% of the time. It's just. Oh, yeah, boy. Oh, get the, get out of there. Get out of there. One thing that both of these baits possess is a great casting distance for their size. A slim design and deceptively heavy body enables a long cast, great for hitting the other side of the river. And at three and a half inches, they still fit the profile of typical river forage. I only got to use the Whopper Plopper for about an hour and a half at most that day, so in the interest of fairness, I've included some footage from another trip of it in action. Oh, yeah. 
You'll notice in this video I'm throwing the Whopper Plopper on a bait caster with heavy duty braid. I do think the braid made a bit of a difference when throwing the Whopper Plopper, but how much I couldn't say. Typically when I'm wading the river I'm using the copolymer, so versatility is key. Another negative I did find with the Whopper Plopper is that the hooks tend to be more difficult to remove due to their design. I know a lot of guys throw out the stock hooks, so this could be a moot point for you, but it's worth thinking about. This is, I believe, the Yozuri branded Whopper Plopper. I'm not sure what they call it. But it's a little bit smaller. It's got a double prop rather than a single. Like on the whooper plooper. I'm throwing a bit different rod. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So question number one answered, it does catch fish. Yeah. Little guy, but start. Like I was saying, I'm throwing this on a bit of a different setup here. Same reel, but this is a uh, medium action eight foot six rod. Previous one was an eight foot six medium heavy. They're basically the same rod. Well, they're the same company, but just different weights of the same rod series. <laughs> you watch out for that one. Wow. He hit that thing head on. One thing I will say, big difference between this and the Whopper Plopper, is that this does not go downriver anywhere near as well as the Whopper Plopper does. <coughs> Got a little bait fish. Man, seen a lot of these fish about the same size. Looks like I might have caught this guy already. So I chose the fish this section just because it was downriver from, just downriver from where I was fishing the other day. Similar to many other topwater baits, both of these are great to throw back into spots where you had a blow up but missed the fish. As long as they weren't hooked badly, they'll frequently come back for a second, third, or sometimes even more strikes. Smallmouth, man. 
aggressive low fish. Another thing I really like about using this rod waiting is that it gets me a lot of line off the top of the water so especially if I'm using like a copolymer or something it'll work still work with <laughs> Ooh, yeah still work with top water and not cause them to go down much obviously because this river is so big I'm using this but if I go to one of the smaller tributaries I'll Go down to a seven foot light. Oh, yeah. Pretty fish. I don't know if you can hear that. But that is the sound of mosquitoes making their way this way. So, pretty much this he was very standing up is about as well uh, to the whopper plopper. Way better than I thought it was going to. Oh, I scared a beaver there. And it really is something to drag. It seems to do something to bring him in. That's probably six fish now. About two hours. Bless it. When using these lures, it's a good idea to invest in some decent snap swivels. I was out fishing today trolling a Zyoziri behind my kayak and actually managed to twist my line up so bad it became unusable. This was caused by the prop being stopped from spinning by a thick piece of weed causing the whole bait to spin in the water rather than just the prop. With that being said, the Yozuri was typically better about not hanging up the prop when it did get into weeds than the whopper plopper. This is due to the larger size of the prop on the whopper plopper. That's a good one. See, I knew they were here. Just gotta find them. Right in the face. Well, I will say, so far the Yozuri caught the biggest fish. The nice thing about this big rod is it keeps them out of the stuff. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. After using both baits, day in and day out on the rivers around me, I think I would pick the Azuri most of the time. 
Due to the shallow nature of the rivers and the amount of vegetation in this area, the smaller profit hooks tend to get hung up less on the Uzuri than the Whopper Flopper. I also think that the prop has a bit of an advantage on the Uzuri for the same reason. While it does create a good amount of noise, especially when you include the rattles in the discussion, it's much more subtle than the Whopper Flopper and in this shallow, clear water that seems to be a difference maker. When you include the increased amount of hang-ups with the weeds due to the larger size of the prop, it becomes an easy decision. However, I don't think you can go wrong with either bait. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.